Hello class, so I want to uh, just give you a quick introduction to PhysioX. So when you get into your PhysioX account, you're going to find these exercises available to you. And the first one that we're doing is exercise four, endocrine system physiology. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to that. There we go, exercise four. And you see that there are four activities here to complete within this one exercise. So you are going to complete all four. I'm going to go ahead and just show you kind of how to navigate through here. So we're going to click on activity one to begin with. And there are your objectives. But what you're going to want to do, because you're not going to, you're not required to do the pre or post lab quiz, and you have a document that you've been provided on Blackboard that you're going to complete as you do this activity. So here's what you want to do. You want to click on these three lines up here. I call it a hamburger. Kind of looks like a hamburger. I don't really know what it's called, but anyway, we're going to click on that. And you can see all these items here. The only thing you need to do is that you need to do the experiment. So go directly to the experiment. There you go. And so what you're going to do, you have to read the instructions in this box, complete the instructions, and then you click at the bottom of the page, next, once you've completed it. So let me just go through a couple screens here to show you. So it says what we're going to be doing here is we're going to determine the basal metabolic rate for each of these three rats that you see um, here on the right hand side. So it says go ahead and drag the normal rat into the chamber to find its basal metabolic rate. So you take your mouse and you drag the rat to the chamber and then you click next. Now you go back up and read the next set of instructions. It says select weight to determine the rat's weight. So we come down here and we go to weight and you click it. And it, that little rat weighs 250 grams. So then you click next. So next is in the bottom right hand you know, part of your screen there. You can see it and we click it. And then we go up and we read the next set. Select the clamp on the left tube, top of the chamber, to close it, and that will prevent outside air from entering the chamber. So we're going to have a little airtight chamber so we can actually measure the amount of oxygen that that rat is breathing. So we're going to go and click that clamp. So it's at the top on the left-hand side. It says clamp open. When we click it, it now says the clamp is closed. Then we hit next. Let's do one more screen come up here, set the timer to one minute using the plus and minus buttons and then select start beneath the timer to measure the amount of oxygen consumed by the rat in one minute. It says note what happens to the water levels in the manometer as time progresses. So this is the manometer right here and this is the water, the blue. So it wanted us to set the timer right there using that plus button. Click, click, click. I'm clicking on it to one minute. Whoops, I overshot it. There we go. One minute. And this says click start. Look at what's happening here at the moment. So he's sucking this air up right here, drawing it in. And you're, you're seeing that it's drawing that water up the left arm of the manometer. So then you click next. Then it says select the T connector knob to connect the manometer and the syringe. So let's go ahead and do this. Um, so this is the T connector knob right here, kind of looks like a letter T. It's connecting right now, the chamber and the manometer are connected. So this chamber the rat is in and this is connected. But it wants us now to connect the manometer and the syringe. So we're going to click this and now the, the, the syringe is connected to the manometer and then you click next. Now, we don't want our little rat to, you know, suffocate, so it wants us to select the clamp to open so the rat can breathe outside air while we do the rest of our stuff. So we want to open that up so he can breathe, and we click Next. Observe the difference. So on and on. So that's what you do. You read the instructions at the top of your page. You follow the instructions by clicking on things. It's pretty dummy proof because if you click on the wrong thing, it will tell you you've clicked on the wrong thing. Um, and then after you've completed what they've asked you to do, you click next.
So as you're going through and doing these activities, you're completing the document that's provided for you. And I'm going to talk more about that in my second video. So I'm going to go ahead and end this one so you, you're kind of set up and you know what you need to do. Read the instructions, do them, click next. Um, and then, and, and again, you don't have to do the pre or post lab. You're not doing the lab report. Um, you're not doing the review activity. You're only doing the experiment. So click experiment and go to that and complete the document that you've been provided. Okay, so I'm going to build, I'm going to make another um, little interactive video for you to explain the document and how you're going to load it on Blackboard.